Hey, hi, hello, I'm Musabi, and today, this is a video, <laughs> I feel like I make a million of these at this point, I really don't like to, I, I honestly, I get disappointed and depressed when I have to make videos like this, because these are gaming franchises that I enjoy, I love them, and they just die, they just get, they get fucked, they get destroyed, and I mean, you already read the title of this video, we're talking about Overwatch 2, yeah, I talked about this, uh, what about a year ago almost now when the relaunch happened and i wasn't too fond of that and then i pretty much quit the game after like a week or two when i realized there wasn't anything really special going for it but let's dig a little bit deeper let's actually talk about what's going on why am i even making this video so to catch up to speed last year overwatch 2 dropped and it was supposed to be the revitalization of overwatch because you well, okay let's be real i'm pretty sure everybody at some point in time has heard of overwatch when it initially came out everybody and their grandma wanted to try it out and play Play it because it was something different it came out to the scene and there was nothing really doing what it did and uh, admittedly i was one of those people that enjoyed the fuck out of it i played a lot of it i played it i want to say for at least about a year or two straight and then i just kind of fizzed away and i didn't really play no more because the content died it it just vanished there was nothing really that was going on with the game they didn't really release content that i at least the player base really cared about because the numbers speak for itself the player base was dwindling there wasn't many people that were staying on anymore they were focusing on esports people thought that it wasn't really that much of a an eye watcher people didn't really care to watch it like they did with league or csgo and so overwatch just kind of became a joke it was that game that people were just looking at it's like uh <laughs> overwatch you playing that still uh okay buddy you know that's kind of pretty much what it boiled down to because there was nothing really left going for it and that was pretty much true for a lot of years and then come in a couple of years ago then they announced overwatch 2 and they were like oh my god overwatch 2 is going to be the new life into this game people are going to go crazy for it we're going to have this whole new pve story mode we know that we heard the fans they loved it inside our little special mini PV, uh, pve modes that they did because every year they would have different events they do sometimes they did for um they did one for the world cup they do a winter event they do the halloween event they would have different types of pve events that people enjoyed myself included and I always wonder what if they would put that effort and make like a solid PVE, you know, campaign type experience. And so that's what they eventually tried to do. And that's what they were selling Overwatch 2 as. But like all things that, you know, when it comes to AAA gaming in this space now, just a bunch of lies. It never came through. It just vanished. Poof gone and that's what happened with overwatch 2 unfortunately so yesterday the news broke and here it is overwatch 2's pve hero mode is being scrapped Biz blizzard explains what happened and why now there's a lot to unpack in this whole article but i'm only going to go over the highlights things that i think is worth talking about but if you want to i'll link the article in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself so gamespot asks the big talking point is the direction that you are now taking with pve that you basically aren't doing it is that the correct way to characterize it it's not happening anymore you pivoted away from it and then the game director said i think i would characterize it slightly differently which is we are doing a part of what the team had set out to do but not the entirety of what was discussed back at blizzcon 2019 so the real focus is on the story missions and the experience as opposed to the more open-ended hero mode and that stuff right so it's fair to say that the experience that you showed during the first overwatch 2 reveal is not going to be the one that will release at any point and then the game director said yeah exactly so we are definitely not doing the hero mode in the talents in that power progression system so i'm gonna be honest just reading that alone i whatever you make at this point isn't going to be what people are expecting or have wanted the pve modes that overwatch 2 currently has or at least from what i can tell when i played junkenstein's revenge last year is pretty much what they've always been in a previous uh in, in a previous overwatch game they're not really anything too crazy it's something that's fun to play with your friends once or twice maybe a third or fourth time and then you move back to the original game if you enjoy being shitted on in every single rank match that you go into and you meet the most toxic players known to mankind because you somehow don't fit the meta in their mind but that's neither here nor there. I, I don't really see where they're going to go at this point. I don't really think they're going to expand PVE and now make some really crazy shit as like add-ons. That's only going to be seasonal content that happens at a very specific time because that's what a lot of these games go off of. FOMO, fear of missing out. So they have an event. Come on in, guys. Play it for XYZ amount of time. And then, poop, it's gone. I don't I don't want to do that I don't think anybody in their right mind wants that what they were trying to do is something I was actually interested in I thought it would have been cool 
but now it's not happening and I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> now this paragraph in particular, I think is very interesting and I really wanted to point out this one. They ask, I think there's going to be a lot of frustration around how we got here because Overwatch 2 has always been a live game. So people are going to think, well, you knew this was a live game, yet you pitched this other Overwatch game and then you also justified the two on the Overwatch title with that. So we're in a situation now where the game is what it's always been. It's involved in some ways, but a sequel was released and that sequel's justification hinge on the PVE. Why did that happen? And so then the gamer director goes on to say, that's a great question. We've talked a lot in the past about Overwatch 2 and how it's different from the original game, even just being free to play and swap into a 5v5 team format and all the new content that we have developed for it. To me, that's the biggest change that we're looking at here. It's not just that we have some of the same heroes in the game, it's the way that we're writing the game and how we're looking at the game going forward. I really hope that the roadmap that we just released is something that illustrates that to players. And I'm gonna be honest, spoiler alert, is not really that great, but we'll get to that in a second. Either way, I think that's a great question because the whole point of Overwatch 2, the whole point of it being a sequel was the idea that this PvE mode was going to be so revolutionary, at least to the game itself, to the core of the game, that it justified putting a 2 right beside the name, when in reality, it's still the same shit. For a lot of people, including myself, I thought that Overwatch 2 was going to be that spark to rekindle the flame, and a lot of people were really going to start hopping on this train, but if you look anywhere, this game isn't really popping off to only time it really gets viewers now is if there's drops on the overwatch marketing spree has kind of run dry it looks like their pockets are empty now they're not paying streamers anymore to play the game so the viewer account just dwindled all the way down to nothing again it's not to say that twitch viewer accounts is the representation of the game as a whole i'm pretty sure the population is still there especially as a free-to-play game but when you look at the content that's being fed and then the battle pass which is a fucking joke i don't really see many people invest in time because you got to think we're in a different place now we have Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone. There are a lot of other free to play live service games that this game now has to compete with. When you jump into a space such as live service games, then you know what you're competing with. And I mean, of course they acknowledge it, but I don't really think they understand it. When you are a live service game, you're fighting for players time and attention. That is your biggest priority. Your goal is to make sure that players are not playing the other live service games and that they're playing yours, that they're spending all their money on your game, not other games. And I don't think Overwatch has done that well, if even at all, because all you see is people complaining about the battle pass and that the heroes are locked behind paywalls and that the grind is uh, too large and it's not worth the time investment. And that's personally why I don't play. I don't really have any interest anymore. I mean, yeah, I could play here and there, but there's nothing that makes me want to come back. The progression system, there's nothing there that feels like I'm rewarded as a free to play player now, even though I had the original game. And yeah, I got all my shit that I earned in the free game to now this one, but a lot of people like to have progression. They like to have something where they are at least gaining something. And I don't really think that the battle pass system that currently is set up for this game is that great at all. And so here is their roadmap for season five, season six, and season seven. So season five, you get a new limited time event, mischief and magic, whatever the fuck that is, unless that is the actual, I guess the quest. Uh, a cinematic review <laughs> oh my god we get a new cinematic trailer i don't really think that should be anything that that you put on your roadmap is something to get players excited for but that's just me and then the summer games which i was talking about when i said the world cup earlier in the video and then they said 5v5 mini comp season on fire returns and then creator workshop mode not really a lot to get excited for season five season six apparently story missions don't know how that's going to stack up yet it might be fun might not be i'm not going to judge it until i see it but i'm not really too confident either with them saying they're just scrapping everything to begin with um, a new support hero definitely overwatch needs more of that not really but a new support hero flashpoint i'm assuming that's the new map hero mastery don't know what the fuck that is so maybe that's a map but i couldn't tell you and then it says firing range player progression system overwatch anniversary and more i'm gonna be honest when a game puts and more at the end of it they put that little and more that doesn't i, I don't believe that when you put and more that's kind of like a way of saying hey we don't really know if we got more shit to show you yet but we're gonna put and more just in case we might be able to squeeze more in there. It's essentially a free pass for them to put as much or as little content they want after that because then they're not held to, oh, well, you said you're gonna do this, 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 and this when they can just put and more and it could be literally like one extra thing. And then no one would say anything else because they didn't say, hey, they didn't promise an extra, like a, a mandated amount of extra things. They just said and more. So that's up to your interpretation of how you want it to be. But continuing on to season seven and beyond, they say new tank hero, collaboration event, control map, winter event, 
these events happen every year. I don't really think that's anything to get excited about. It, it's, it happens every year. And it's typically a reskin. It's always just a repurposed reskin of an event that happened last year. But sometimes they do throw something that's a little bit different. But from my own experience, every time that I've come back to play, it's just a reskin or the same thing exactly, but just a couple tweaks to it. New Hero Mastery Missions, Roadhog Rework, Fan Favorite Modes Returns, Cinematic Debuts, Competitive Mystery Heroes Return, Lore Codex, Sombra Rework. Again, all of this isn't anything that I don't, I don't think players are going to look at me like, oh my God, this is crazy. This is a fuckload of content. Oh my God, I got to come back to this. I think this is going to be great for diehards who just like playing Overwatch all the time. I think this is going to be great for them. But I think for players like me who have already been away from this game for so long, none of this really entices me to be like, God, I need to come back and play this. It's just more like, all right, that's cool. All right, I'm going to go play something else now. And that's really what I think boils down for at least players like me who don't really keep an eye on Overwatch anymore, but hope for something to bring us back. But then you see something like this and you're like, yeah, that's not going to bring me back. And then on top of that, they didn't give any timelines. So, I mean, maybe there are uh, known timelines for these seasons that I'm not aware of, but I don't see any timelines on their roadmap, which, which if you're going to try and show something like this, I would think you put a timeline on there. But again, there probably isn't any timeline to begin with. So, it could pull a Halo Infinite and be like, hey, we might extend this season a little bit longer or this season is going to be cut in half, but your next season isn't going to start until this time. So that's a possibility as well, too. But yeah, not really a great roadmap. And so pretty much the rest of the article just goes over pretty much what they were expecting. How are, are they going to repurpose the maps? What are the plans going forward? And from what they said, they created a bunch of tools specifically for PvE mode and everything that they're making around story mode that they can repurpose to PvP. Once they get in the mindset for releasing PvP content and PvE content, then it's going to be like a great synergy and it's going to be so much stuff coming out. Personally, I'm a person of I believe it when I see it. Uh, talk is cheap, especially when it comes from Blizzard in general and the fact of how Overwatch 2 has been handled in the past. Again, these are my personal opinions. I know that there are some really diehard Overwatch fans who get uh, really upset or triggered or annoyed at the idea of anyone criticizing their game at all. I'm a big fan of Overwatch. I would love for it to be great again, but right now it's not. They don't give me any reason or incentive to want to come back. The events are not really that great. There's nothing that really makes me want to be like, oh my God, I got to drop everything and play this right now. No, nothing at all. Hopefully they turn things around and they can make it something that's worthwhile. And I do want to play, but with all the other games that come out and the live service games that do exist, I don't see any future where I want to go back to Overwatch. Even with everything they introduced in Overwatch 2, I, it wasn't enough for me to be like, oh my God, I got to start playing this shit again 24-7. No, sir. Mm -mm, not for me. But I, you know what I will be doing? Play more Tears of the Kingdom because that's actually a quality and good game that I've sunk more hours into than I would like to admit. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, Overwatch 2 is dead. It's, it's done. It's done -zo. It could turn around. I could be wrong. Maybe this age is like uh, milk and I will be uh, looking back at this a year from now. I'm like, oh my God, Overwatch 2 is so great now. And I would actually love for that to happen, but I'm a lot more on the realistic side and looking at the track record for Overwatch in general, I don't really have a lot of confidence in what they do. So sorry if I'm not really too excited for Overwatch future. Anyways, I'm going to go back and play more Tears of the Kingdom, get a hit or miss out tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and yeah, have a great day. See you later. A sayonara. Goodbye. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all I got for the intro. Bye-bye.